Hi, it's Dr. Ray here. Thank you for joining me. There are an amazing benefits that we can go through after a breakup, after sitting with, say, loneliness and regret. Before I share this, if you like this video and other videos, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to be notified when new videos like this come out. So back to healing a heartbreak and getting rid of negative feelings. Now, most people think what they're feeling after a breakup is because they have broken up, that they're no longer going to make love to this person. Uh, they're not going to receive those text messages in the morning that they maybe have taken for granted, you know, because, you know, they're just in their own lives trying to better themselves and just the busyness of just life itself. But when things get quiet, when you no longer receive those text messages, when you don't have that cheerleader to pick up your call, you know, when you're moving through something throughout the day, then you can be in that space of, of feeling what is really happening in your body. And most people, do not want to admit this and more and often they go from like this pain to seeking pleasure again and most of us will move in a direction that is familiar and what direction is that texting that person we just broke up with saying i'm so sorry that i said those things i don't know why um we start reaching out to people we have been with before um Maybe we will pile more work so we're distracted and so forth. We might find ourselves engaged in other people's business uh, because <laughs> we're just afraid to sit with our own emotions. So we just try to keep doing and doing rather than be with what we feel. And here is the golden nugget about breakups. Uh, and it's this. So those feelings we have of feeling unworthy lonely to self-doubt lacking confidence uh, even insecurities of going out there again to maybe meet new people hands down guarantee most of those feelings of thoughts were there when you were dating that person most of those negative thoughts and beliefs are what came into play before you broke up with that person. Um, most of those feelings that you have about yourself are how you misinterpreted uh, their text message or that conversation that triggered you and it spiraled out into an argument and you couldn't figure out why it is that you pushed that person away. So what en ends up happening after many breaks breakups, it's where there's like this veil that lifts up over our eyes and it's at where we can see how we participated in a negative way. Uh, we have the opportunity to feel our emotions and how we feel about ourselves. But unfortunately, most people will go to, I'm missing her, I'm missing him, to fantasizing of being with that person again, to ease and soothe the pain that we're in. And does that feel attractive? Uh, does that feel um, like if, for example, if someone had broken up with you and they said a bunch of negative things to even like, don't want to ever talk to you again and I hate you. And then all of a sudden they're text messaging you again saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's like the fifth time they've said they wouldn't do it again. And you feel as though that they're wanting your attention again to make them feel better that they're wanting your attention and connection to get them through the day. Does that feel like that supports your life? Does it feel like it revitalizes your energy to where you're going to feel like this adds to your life? Or is it going to feel like it's pulling from you, like you're carrying extra baggage in your life to help another person to feel better about him or herself? Now, if you are a lonely person, you might actually just like any connection. If you're a lonely person, you're going to think 
that sounds judgmental. Of course, I would want to be that person for, for, you know, to help him move through the day. But that's how two codependent people basically drag each other down into the ocean because they never feel better. What they feel are moments of pleasure through the sex and uh, the physical part of the relationship. It's where there's a physical person to look at that maybe seems to be happier than ourselves that we project onto to where we have a person to commiserate with us, even in our, in our misery and loneliness to get us through the day. But is that helping each other out? It's not. It's where as it's two people who are in a cave and they're both complaining about how they're not going to get out. They both are aware that if they work, walk a little further to where they feel maybe a little bit of wind uh, that there's probably the, the end of the cave and they can get out of, of the cave and be out in the sunlight, but they're both afraid. They make up excuses of why it is that they can't get out to where they uh, comfort each other in this dark cave of loneliness. And so if they were to break up, um, they would feel what they feel already every day in or out of a relationship. So when you go through a breakup, if you haven't done any integration, such as this is integration and this is taking personal responsibility, it's this. All right, I felt hate towards so-and-so. Is there something really that I hate about them or this behavior triggers something in me? What is it about their behavior that triggers particular thoughts that I have that are negative that I say about him or her and even myself or say the world at large uh, to even this? I was very jealous. I was very insecure. And it's because I think so-and-so was flirting and that there was not like this boundary, boundary that I wanted in a relationship. Then the next question would be turn inwards. It would be this. So what if this person were to cheat, uh, what would I do with my life anyway? If this person were to go outside of the relationship, how did that make me feel about myself? What, what might come up is, oh my God, then I'm not enough. I'm not attractive. Well, is it because that person, um, does it find me to be attractive or I already felt that way and I was just so happy that I got someone to, to, to be with me in this relationship for this long? You know, oftentimes we feel unworthiness and we feel lucky to be in a relationship, even a toxic relationship, and it's all unconscious. So taking personal responsibility is looking at all the things that you're saying about that person and the relationship and turning it inward, such as, you might say that person was really angry. Well, ask yourself the same question. Are there things I'm angry about and what am I doing about it to make it better? Uh, you might say um, that person never really loved me and um, I didn't feel I'm happy in a relationship. Well, turn that around. Am I happy with myself? Um, and is it that this person didn't really love me or I didn't believe they loved me. And whether they love me or not, do I love myself? So when we go through a breakup, it, all these feelings are raw and we're vulnerable. And what happens is most people will blame the person in a situation and they'll just go back out there and start dating again, or they'll move into bad habits again that just basically blinds them from the gifts that's a, that are there from the breakup. And so they just get into another relationship uh, that repeats the same patterns, same, same experiences such as jealousy, cheating, anger, uh, calling this person, another person, that they're a narcissist. Rather than stopping, taking pause and feeling these emotions and going like, what does this say about me? How am I talking about myself and how can I talk about myself in a better way? loving way. So I hope this adds value to your life. Please leave your comments uh, and I will respond to them. And I'd love to hear 
what you're doing and you're reflecting if you are going through a breakup. Hi, right, it's Dr. Ray here and thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and you are the one who drives this channel. So if you like to be notified when new videos come out, please subscribe to my channel and push the bell button so you are notified when new videos come out. I appreciate you supporting this channel.